Good evening. Good evening, sir. What's your name? My name is Jitendra Singh. So, what's your qualification? I recently received my Bachelor of Technology in Chemical Field from the University of Pune. Uh, what is your professional certification courses you have done? My professional certification courses are UK, UT, IT, and LPT. So, you your this certification from which institute you did? I did this certification from A and T from Great uh, Noida. So now we will discuss about uh, an intro about ultrasonic testing. Okay. What is the principle of ultrasonic testing? The principle of ultrasonic is a piezoelectric effect, like in this effect, the uh, electrical energy converts into the mechanical energy by a piezoelectric uh, crystal and then uh, convert it back into from chemical energy to electrical energy for a signal. What are the advantages of UT? The advantage of UT is that we can detect from the one surface that from one surface we get all the checks okay. and then we go for a then we go for a like a maximum thickness. Okay. And there is also we can do Hmm. Can you find out depth of the discontinuity? Yes, we can find the depth of the. Okay. Now, uh, what is the advantage of UT over RT mainly? The UT, the advantage of the UT over RT is the first is the safety hazards. Like in UT, we are safe totally, and in uh, RT, we are exposed to the ultra radioactive. Radiation. Radiation like radioactive isotopes used in that. So, what are the types of probes you have? We have a three types of probes: the TR probe, normal beam probe, and the angle beam probes. So, TR probe. When you use TR probe? TR probe used for a pipe and the guns. So, any thickness uh, limitation? Thickness something is there? There is no limit. Uh, thickness limit like. Uh, no, no. Especially TR probe. When you will use? When we need to check the discontinuity in pipes and the wells. TR probe. TR probe check for the thickness. So, agar if our thickness is less than 12.5, yes. which probe will use? We will use the TR probe. So, TR probe limitation, what is the limitation of TR probe? The limitation of TR probe is the crosstalk. Who will give that? The angle, roof angle in the... Who will give the roof angle? Yes, roof angle. Who will give the roof angle? The crystals which are... Probe manufacturer. So, angle beam probe, when you use angle beam probe? Angle beam probe we use when we need to inspect in uh, like uh, hollow, hollow sections. Welds? Like five tubes. Welds? And welds we can use a angle beam probe. So, what are the types of sensitivity blocks? There are three types of sensitivity blocks, flat bottom holes, uh, SI drill holes and notch. So, how do you calibrate your CRT by using what blocks? Like for a, uh, we can calibrate a uh, first. First, we calibrate a CRT with the help of the one and two block. Then we set uh, for a DAC with the help of the sensitivity box. So you, you can draw DAC. Yes, I can draw DAC. So, what is the specification for uh, uh, solid steel forgings? What is the Specification, yes. standard specification yes. for solid steel forgings. SA SA three three The specification for a steel products, steel solid products are the SA three eighty eight. What is sensitivity? The sensitivity is the ability to detect the smallest discontinuities. So in UT, what is the smallest discontinuity you can detect? In UT, we can detect uh, two. Lambda by? Lambda by four. So you should remember, huh? Yeah. Okay, because you are busy with the training under lot yes. So, if I give a job. Yes. Clear? Yes. So before doing the uh, UT, what are the information you need? First, I need the like uh, on which product we need to UT, and uh, then we need a specification like material. After that, uh, like uh, which type of UT we need, like weld or the surface or the plate, 
After that, we need the same material of and uh, need for a blocks. Thank you. Thank you.